give you a new beginning. Whatever the devil does, God is able to reverse that. Whatever other people have done to you, God is able to reverse what's happened and give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. God is able. I think sometimes we have a defeatist attitude. We think, I'm struggling to survive. If I can just crawl into heaven, I'll be okay. I'll just limp my way into heaven. I'll just barely make it. If I can just make it. It's so hard to be a Christian. It's so hard to survive. It's so hard to, to live a holy life. But I'm going to try my best. And it's going to be very, so much sacrifice. And I'm a martyr, but I'll, I'll just make it. We shouldn't feel that way. Yes, there are sacrifices. Yes, there are hurts and wounds. But the Lord more than compensates in the end, there's no sacrifice. We get the blessings. In the end, we're the one who's victorious. Did you know Romans chapter 8 says we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Now think about that. How could you be more than a conqueror? I mean, if you're a conqueror, that means you win. How could you be more than a conqueror? Well, I thought about that until it finally occurred to me. Read about these stories of boxers and wrestlers and so on. World famous boxer. And they, they, these two boxers fight until both of them are bloody and bruised. Finally, one guy knocks the other one out. He's unconscious. He lost. The victor, the conqueror, he stands there. He won. But if you look at him closely, he's bruised. He's bleeding. It may take him six months to recover. He may have permanent brain damage. When he's 50 years old, he may be limping around and Parkinson's disease and whatever. Because even though he won, he has been forever marred by that battle. That's not what God intends for us. He doesn't intend for his church to be weak and to limp and be wounded and handicapped. Whatever life has brought to you, that doesn't have to be a handicap. Whatever problems has come your way, that doesn't have to be a handicap because God is able. Whatever we lack, God supplies. Whatever we don't have, God has. Whatever resources we don't have, God has. Don't look at the impossibility. Look at your God. And with God, all things are possible. You might say, I can't do God's will. We can't have revival. We cannot reach the deaf community. Don't look at it through human eyes. Look at it through God's eyes. With God's eyes, we can reach the deaf community. With God's eyes, we can have revival. With God's eyes, we can rise above. Whatever limitations society places on us. Shoulders back and march to heaven and say, We're winning. 